Hello family, I'm going to try to do one more video and then I think I'll call it a day because I want to conserve energy for the rest of this week as well and visit different places, you know Here we go anyway But um, so I've got a little, uh, can you see it? The, the little stool there with the tracks on well, There's quite a few people taking them and I've given a few Bibles out as well, which is good So I'm glad about that So I'm going to keep on going anyway I love you all, I'm really grateful that you pray for me uh, so grateful really it's, it's wonderful I can feel those prayers being answered but I'm just going to pray right now because I, I feel a bit tired so dear loving Heavenly Father I just come to you right now I pray in my weakness you be strong Lord God I pray you will just bless me and make me a blessing to the people Lord God may they see your glory may I be able to shine your my light so brightly before men that they may see my, my, my faith in you, Lord. May the glory of the Lord come upon this street in the name of Jesus. May everybody be touched by the word of God that proceeded from my mouth, Lord, in Jesus' name. And bless all the subscribers, all these people who pray for me, Lord, and, and help me out. Oh, Lord, God, I love them so much. I ask you to bless them all with a rich blessing in Jesus' mighty name. All the people, Lord God, all the subscribers, whoever they are, um, all of them, I just ask you to bless them all and remind them that you are the God that well, there's nothing impossible for you, Lord remind them in the name of Jesus to call upon you in the day of trouble and you'll deliver them and they'll glorify you in Jesus' name, Amen Here we go, family God bless you, Huddersfield I'm coming here today to tell you the most important message that you will ever hear in this world because it's the salvation message of the Lord Jesus, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because I am not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ because it's the power of God unto salvation for everyone that believes no matter who you are and no matter what you have done believe the gospel and you will be saved it's not about being good it's not about being religious it's not about going to church every Sunday your salvation has nothing to do with that your salvation has only everything to do with the state of your heart whether or not you will accept the free gift of God. Because the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. For everybody that believes. Because we have all sinned like the Bible says. We've all broken God's commandments. So be humble to recognize this. We, have, we all sin and we all come short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. That means hell. But the free gift of God, which according to the Bible, God wants to give it to everybody, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. This is available for everybody and you have to reach out and just receive that free gift, that eternal security by having some faith and believing the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. How that Jesus died on that cross to shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins as it is written in scriptures in the Bible and he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures with the heart man believes and is justified and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation that if you are not afraid or ashamed to say I need you come into your life Lord Jesus and you believe that he died for you on that cross and rose again from the dead you will be saved with everlasting life that's the only condition and once you're saved you, you get saved because God seals you with Holy Spirit of promise and God cannot go back on his promises. He does not lie. It is impossible for God to lie. So I'm urging you, whoever you are, to believe on Jesus Christ today. Please take one if you like. All of you, please help, just take, help yourself. Would you like a little pocket Bible? Would you like a little pocket Bible? I don't have any money right now. Sorry? I know you don't have to give me money. Uh, these are free. What, what they are is New Testament and Psalms. Thank uh, you. Do you want one as well? Hold on then. 
uh, this power, these are living words of God. Uh, the only true living words of God. I, I want to make sure that you all get one. So, so one, one more. Hold on. There you go. I want you to receive those and may you may you all be blessed. And I pray that God blesses you all and fills you with His love and, and shows you, leads you, guides you, and, and saves you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for these lovely people. Thank you, thank you, lovely people. God bless you, Huddersfield. I'm here to tell you the way to be saved. I'm here to tell you how simple it is to be saved. I'm here to tell you that the Bible says that God wants all to be saved. I'm here to tell you that all can be saved. And it's not about anything you must do except believing on the one who did it all, the Son of God. How? How that Jesus died for you on that cross. Jesus died for you on that cross. He shed his blood for all your sin on that cross. And he was buried and he rose again on the third day as it is written. Just believe this and call upon him and you will be saved. And you'll be taken up to heaven in the rapture when the Lord himself descends from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air in the rapture, the rapture, the rapture that will take place any moment now. Don't be left behind because you've rejected the Lord Jesus Christ. Because immediately after Jesus takes all believers out of this world to safety into heaven, then the great tribulation period will begin on this world. The apocalypse revelation period. Daniel's 70th week. Seven years called the great tribulation. Jesus said it would be a time so terrible that men's hearts shall faint from fear when they see what is coming upon this world. And you don't have to be here if you will but believe on Jesus Christ today. All you have to do to be saved is one little thing. God has made it so simple for everybody to be saved. Do you know why? Because he loves you. He's made it so simple. All you have to do is become like a little child with your faith and just believe what he did for us on the cross. You need saving and forgiveness because everybody has sinned like the Bible says. Romans 3.23 All have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. The Bible says in Romans 6.23 that the wages or the penalty of sin is death. That means hell. So without the Lord Jesus you find yourself in hell. So please get on board the ark of salvation which is the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe what he did for us on that cross. Because if any man says that he has no sin, he deceives himself and the truth is not in him. But if you're humble enough to recognize your sin condition and then believe on the one who paid the penalty in full on the cross, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who shed his blood on the cross for all our sin, and he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. Believe this in your heart. Know that Jesus did that for you on that cross and call upon him and you will be saved. The 11th hour is here. 11.59. Yeah, that's yes. how short it is. I know, you're right, brother. God bless. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus Christ is coming. Are you ready? Are you saved? Have you believed? Because that's the only requirement for you to be saved, is belief. I'd hurry up if I was you and I wouldn't waste any more time. This gentleman just came up to me and said, it's the last, last moments. And he's right, because we're living in the final moments of the end of this age. Jesus Christ is coming for his church. The church is the body of believers. That means every single one who has believed on Jesus Christ will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air in the rapture any moment. And then this world is in for a rude awakening. The Bible says that it's going to be hell on earth. Jesus said it would be time so terrible that there's never been a time like this and there never will be again. 
Jesus said that men's hearts are going to fade from terror when they see what is coming upon this world. So you, get on board the ark of salvation. Believe on Jesus Christ today and you will be saved and your house. It's so simple. It's not about being religious. You don't earn your salvation by being good. You simply reach out with faith and receive that free gift of God, which is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. By just having some faith and believing the gospel that Jesus was indeed crucified on that cross for all our sins as it is written and he was buried and he rose again on the third day as it is written believe this in your heart and say come into my life Lord Jesus or come into my life come into my heart Lord Jesus and you will be saved and you'll be saved from what's coming upon this world when the world is turned upside down during the great tribulation apocalypse period when it's going to be hell on earth Jesus said men's hearts are going to fade from terror. Jesus said it will be a time so terrible as there been a time like it. And it never will be again. It's called the Great Tribulation. Revelation. Apocalypse period. This world shall be turned upside down. Don't be left behind because you rejected the Lord Jesus. Get on board now. Hurry up. Don't hesitate. Don't leave it off for any second longer. Believe on Jesus and you'll be taken up to heaven in the right to safety before World War III erupts. All you have to do is believe and believe. Yes, Jesus died on that cross for all my sin. Yes, I believe it. Yes, I know it that Jesus did that for me. Yes, I know it that he rose again from the dead. And you say, come into my life, Lord Jesus. Or you confess that Jesus is Lord with your mouth. You will be saved. But I would hurry up if I was you and not hesitate and don't leave it and say to yourself, I'll do it tomorrow. No, do it, to, do it now because we're not promised tomorrow. We're looking for our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is coming. Are you ready? Any second now and the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first and then we which are alive and remain, we're going to be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, in the rapture. And then all hell shall break loose on the earth during the great tribulation, seven year apocalypse period where this man shall come on the world stage proclaiming himself to be the Messiah. He will say, I am the Christ, but he's the Antichrist and he's going to be hell on earth. Get on board the ark now. Believe on Jesus Christ today before it's too late. Don't get left behind when the rapture happens. Ooh, all right, guys, I'm getting off before it's 13 minutes. I love you.